कार्लोस बाप यू आर अ ओपोजिशन पार्टी है मेरे बट आई थिंक एंटायर स्टेट डजेंट लुक एट यू ओनली फ्रॉम दैट प्रिजम बट वेन यू लुक एट दिस गवर्नमेंट कंपोजिशन एंड द इश्यूज बिफोर द गवर्नमेंट वॉट वुड यू थिंक आर द प्रायोरिटीज एंड द अजेंडा दैट दिस गवर्नमेंट नीड्स टू लुक एट फर्स्ट थिंग आई वॉन्ट टू से दैट वेन यू लुक एट द कॉम्पोजिशन ऑफ द एम एल एज हु आर देर इन द रूलिंग डिस्पेंसेशन यू हैव ओल्ड टाइमर्स हु आर एक्सपीरियंस हैंड्स यू ऑल्सो हैव फ्रेश न्यू फेसिस इन दिन दू विल बी इन द गवर्नमेंट एंड आई थिंक दिस मिक्स बैग would do a good deal to any political dispensation mm. to be able to meet out justice in the fulfillment of the electoral promises which they made but let me say one thing as professor nilesh has rightly pointed out they have inherited what they have brought over from the last governance it's not 5 years it is 10 years and therefore you will see mm. that whatever they have to carry forward they'll have to carry beyond what they were doing before whether it is in roads you look at it from the road angle water or electricity these are the basic necessity of life and i will make one thing clear that even when i went campaigning i told uh, my voters electricity water and roads these are basic things which i should not come and tell you it should be provided to you and i think this is something which is fundamental which every citizen has a right to have good roads good electricity and, uh, and continuous water at least sufficient water for sustenance mm. if you go around you will see not only internal roads are not there not existing or not done up even you look at the highway you could fall off that highway when you are going around it's so bumpy and it's so bad and i think we will have to uh, even seek uh, uh, this thing about uh, accountability on these kind of matters then you look at uh, the tourism policy the tourism policy is not only for saying the show must go on but the tourism policy must be a real uh, good policy because finally don't forget with mining being closed tourism is today the hen or the goose which lays the golden egg so at least we should have a good policy in place and i think the government will be able to deliver mm. if they have something serious it's not making plans it's not some uh, bureaucrat giving you a plan and putting it out you must also be able to execute the plans and i think the officers are good you have to give them their direction mm. and i think once this direction is given i think they should be able to deliver on many other things which i have got many other things like what about jobs mm. job creation there is one thing jobs people are looking for jobs in the government there are jobs also in the private sector which are good but you must get good companies which pay you well which which also give you good opportunities and also be able to place you at good place because according to what you have studied what are your qualifications one doesn't have to go out or go and look out for jobs invite good companies i think mm. and if this kind of a industrial policy is done by the government of goa i think we will be able to handle this and make sure there's no in, uh, brain drain of our people either out of goa or abroad why should we lose our good people everybody looks to having his or her own child yeah. along with them they want to live with them people are going far away they think of their parents at home parents think of their children abroad and then finally everything gets disturbed and i think that we should not allow this space to come in between we should allow to help people come around even giving employment to the to the youth or the people who are idle you see eliminates a lot of unwanted activities including crime mm. and i think uh, these are things which the government should focus on